Well, as crazy as the mathematical scenario has become, Bucks head coach Dirk Cutter plans to attack this team's final game with a playoff spot in mind. In tonight's exclusive Cutter's Corner interview, Cutter told me he's not ready to reflect on 2016, and Cutter stands by a decision he made before the game in New Orleans regarding running back Doug Martin. Coach, set us straight on, 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 on Doug Martin, because I think we probably made more of it than it, than it really was uh, a game-time uh, decision on your end. Uh, I would imagine moving forward, everything's fine, and, and it's just a situation in that game that you ha thought would help the team. That's, that's, exactly, that's exactly what it was, and, uh, you know, we, we felt like it was best to go with Jacquez for that game. There's just not enough carries in the game. Uh, when you have, have four running backs and two of them are going to have to play on special teams for your primary ball carrier, you know, there's just not enough, there's just not enough touches to go around. Coming up, one game to play here. Um, nine oh, in oh, it, <laughs> one game to go if we get there, right? Uh, a chance to finish nine and seven. Well, we want to win every game first and foremost, and, you know, it just doesn't work out in your favor all the time. And, you know, next up is Carolina. It's the, it's the home finale. We, the crowd has played a huge part in our last two home wins. Divisional team, Cam Newton, uh, defending NFC champs. A very important game for us. I mean, to get to nine wins is, is something that is important. And, you know, we can't forget that no matter what the mathematicians say, right. Uh, you know, we still have a chance to get in the playoffs. Well, I don't know how you would define progress when it's all over, but have you had a chance to look back at this season yet and, and, and say, you know what, this team is headed in the right direction? Well, that, that's something that Jason and, and I will spend a lot of time with once the season is finally over. But when the, when the season is going on, you just don't have time to, mm -hmm. to there's, not, there's no time for reflection because you're always dealing with the next game. Uh, what roster changes are we making? Who's healthy this week? Who's not healthy? And then just game plan stuff, and then it's, it's time to play the next game. Where do you stand on when you have guys who are banged up going into a final game? And, and where's the line, I suppose, where you say, look, all right, we need to be sensible here. Or listen, if you're okay, get in there and play. Give us a chance to win. All our decisions are always based on what gives us the best chance to win. And we would never... Uh, put a player's safety at risk uh, if 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 our medical staff, which we you know we have an excellent medical staff, uh, Demar Dotson's a great example. He's in the concussion protocol. Uh, he hadn't had cleared it. He's still in the protocol, so you know he's not playing at this point. And uh, you know we would never put a player out there that we thought that was at a higher rate of uh, risk of injury. Finally, uh, good Christmas. Cutter House. <laughs> Get up, did you have to cook breakfast? Give me, walk me through your Christmas day. <laughs> well, I was up pretty early, and nobody else was. <laughs> so, uh, so well, you were working. That's cheating. On Christmas. No, I, I wasn't working. So, oh, okay. so I got a little work done while I waited. But after that, it it was great. I hope yours was as well. All right. So we wish the Bucks all the best this week. A nine and seven record would mean a lot yeah. going into next season. Great second half of the season. Too, yeah. so thank you, Mike. Thank you.